Well, it's uh, Friday night, and I brought the uh, head of uh, Crazy Horse up here to work on it, where I can watch TV, listen to music while I work on it. And I'm finding these little tools that I made yes yesterday are really working out beautiful. So, I'll be adding the head back onto the body as soon as I get to this point to where I like it. And uh, I'm not showing this because I'm not really set up to video it. I've got <laughs> my, I got the camera on top of a bottle of uh, ibuprofen. <laughs> so it's not quite a proper mount for the camera. I just find sometimes it's relaxing to work up here. Time to play with some clay. Well, I went down late last night and I put the uh, head of the warrior back on the body of the warrior, a crazy horse. And while I sat there, I had an inspiration. It was a sudden flash. I know you can't see me right now because it's dark, dark in the stairwell. And I'm taking my time going down the stairs because I'm 74 and uh, don't want to fall. <laughs> but uh, I had an inspiration last night. And I'm so dang excited about it. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Sun just coming up over the mountains. And this is what I did last night. I completely changed Crazy Horse's pose. I uh, softened a, or cut up a whole bunch of clay last night because I was running out. So it's all in the uh, tub here and uh, softening up. So anyway, I came down last night and uh, I had an, just, it, I can't tell you how solid the image came to my mind. And so I had to lift the uh, armature out of the hole that I had to put down. I didn't really want to do a solid straight up and down statue after I came down here last night and I had that just that flash of idea so I cut his arm so I could move 
his arm up and I put the uh, war club the war club's going to be about a 17 inch long uh, war club it'll be a thinner uh, stick the war club would have been a stone headed uh, war club devastating by the way um, the head would be about 6 inches from tip to tip and it would be attached to the uh, staff or shaft of the uh, war club with uh, rawhide all the way from the uh, where it's connected to the stone all the way down the shaft with about a three inch uh, drop on it uh, you know piece of uh, either arm band or just a piece of cloth or a piece of the uh, leather but I'm really, really, really loving the attitude that he has right now. And it looks good from every angle. And that's really key to designing a clay is to have that fluid look that uh, from any angle looks good. And this one just does. So now I, that's why I waited to do his legs until I got to this point because I wanted to uh, wait till something hit me as far as inspiration. I also cut his uh, mid section of his body, cut a wedge out so I could tilt his upper body so he's got kind of a rake to his shoulders and it would reflect the uh, slack in his hips and uh, really happy the way the uh, face turned out last night working in front of my computer <laughs> and uh, so I'll be uh, down here later on today it's uh, I'm gonna go back to bed I only got three hours sleep all I could do is think about this last night and so I'm going to go back to bed and get back down here this afternoon and get to work. I'm letting uh, the heat warm up my studio. It's going to be a beautiful day today outside. All right, I'll be back. This is Crazy Horse as of now. He's coming alive. I got to redo his shoulder muscles. Because of the uh, positioning, repositioning of uh, this arm. I'm glad I did un the underarm because uh, now it's going to work. All right. See you later, guys. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.